Assalamu alaikum. I am your host, Rosanna Kiel with Hanan Ali, and you are watching Tarbiya News. Eid is one of the most enjoyable times of the year for Muslims. It's a day full of joy and festivities around the world. In Delaware, that we call home, a lot of people who work don't get the day off and have to leave their families on the day of Eid and go to work. You know, I attend an Islamic school and I do get an, a day off for Eid. However, there are a lot of children who don't have the opportunity to attend an Islamic school. And they have to either miss the school on Eid or they are unable to participate in Eid festivities. We have reached out to a few Delawareans to have their opinions in this matter. First, let's go to Ruhi who attends Newark Charter School. Assalamu alaikum Ruhi. Assalamu alaikum. How do you celebrate Eid? Normally, I prefer to celebrate Eid with my family and my friends and have fun with, the, with my friends and family at the mosque, wishing everyone Eid Mubarak. But on one Eid, I was unable to do this, and it was because I had a huge exam at school. And I could not miss the exam, so I was forced to go to school. And because of this, I had to take a, a, I had to take a very early prayer at the mosque. And after that, I quickly went to school, changing my clothes in the car, and I was unable to celebrate Eid with my family. I'm sorry for that. Maybe one day you won't have to worry about missing school and ruining your perfect attendance. Now let's go to Senator Brian Townsend and ask him what we have to do to get Eid holidays recognized in Delaware. Hello, Senator Townsend. Hello to you, Hanan. Well, we're taking the first steps now to figure out the best way to make sure that the Eid holidays are recognized in Delaware. There's a few different ways we can, we can go about it. We're hoping to soon issue a proclamation uh, emphasizing the importance of the Eid holidays. Uh, and then I hope to be able to, to lead the effort and work with colleagues to more formally establish uh, the Eid holidays as, as a formal acknowledgement by Delaware State Government. So look forward to starting that effort in the days to come and hope to be able to share really good news soon. Thank you, Senator Townsend. I'm hoping that you will be able to introduce a resolution as well as a bill for the recognition of Eid holidays. We are just getting a word that County Executive Mr. Thomas Gordon is just making an announcement that he will recognize Eid holidays in New Castle County. Let's go to Mr. Gordon. Hello, Mr. Gordon. Hello, Hanan. Well, it's going to be an exciting day on the 19th. It's time where we announce to the world that, it, that we're going to be recognizing such Muslim holidays that are uh, celebrated throughout our community, but not necessarily recognized. And we're going to celebrate and announce it to the Newcastle County residents, the state of Delaware, and I'm so happy that you're going to be involved in announcing this. Thank you very much for your kind consideration and proclamation. I want you to know that we all highly appreciate it. By the way, I'll be there on the 19th. I think it's cool how the county government is actually recognizing our Eid. Yes, Roseanne, I agree, but I think it would be even cooler if the state government recognized our Eid as well. Let us take you to Brother Michael Rashid. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Michael. Wa alaikum assalam. Brother Michael, how did you get Eid recognized in Philadelphia? We have three, three messages that we are going to uh, our, our friends with. First of all, this is a fairness issue. Uh, it, that's one of our messages that is, if, if other folks can have their holidays, we should have our holidays. Um, we say that it is a working man's issue, that there are people who are, who are working, and if they want to take the Eid off, they have to get, you know, use their personal, personal time and things like that, as opposed to those others who don't have to do that. And if it was a holiday, just like, you know, uh, when Christmas comes, the teachers talk about Christian values around Christmas time and, 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 and Rosh Hashanah and the Jewish values, they could talk about Muslim values, and it would help us to get people to understand, you know, what Islam is really all about. And we, we met with the governor of, um, of Pennsylvania, Governor Wolf, and we met with the mayor of um, Philadelphia, Mayor Kenny, and, 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 and they both were 100% supportive of what we're trying to do. And we are very optimistic that by the time Ramadan comes, uh, the mayor will make an announcement that he will be recognized here in Philadelphia in the, in the city school system. Thank you, Brother Michael. 
We have a long way ahead of us to make sure Ruhi and the others who attend public or charter schools are able to enjoy their Eids without worrying about missing school. And those who work can take a day off without any problem. Inshallah. We will continue to bring you more on this. Stay tuned. Signing off, I'm your host, Rosanna Keel with Hanan Ali, and you are watching Tarbian News.